Ready? To the Chief Justice of Upper Canada, sir, woman cannot redress her wrongs. Her feeble arm is powerless. Even were justice to be reached and liberty given to an oppressed people, it is not women who should lead the way. It belongs to the lion heart and eagle eye of your sex, sir, to lead in war, to maintain a people's rights, to save their country from slavery. But to you, sir, Canada can never look for assistance. Sir, could a tale of human suffering lead you to feel another's woe? I would relate a series of hardships brought upon me by you and others of the Tory party of Canada that would call the full-grown tears to manly eyes. How my husband was hanged when others were free. How my husband was hanged when 35,000 people signed the petition for mercy. How they cruelly refused a woman the corpse of her murdered husband. Those with whom my husband acted were moved by generous impulses. Had they succeeded, Canadians and posterity would have blessed them. But sir, all is not over yet. The lion will give way, and a bold star will eventually ornament the Canadian standard. Then will the name of Canadian martyrs be sung by poets while those who now give law to the bleeding people of Canada will be loathed or forgotten by the civilized world. Canada will do justice to his memory. Canadians cannot long remain in bondage. They will be free.